Hey, what's up everyone? It's Lord Ryujin here bringing you another YouTube video and <clears throat> I wanted to pose a question to everyone out there who watches my videos. Do you think that first person is the wave of the future? And yeah, I think it is. And feel free to give your answer in the comments down below, but I'm going to go ahead and explain why I feel as though first person, the first person perspective is basically the wave of the future. And it's uh, simple for a couple of reasons. One, it's immersive. <clears throat> when you watch a movie, you're not really into it because you're watching a bunch of people act stuff out. And the same thing is kind of true with the video game. Yeah, sure, it's a little bit more interactive, but when you see the character, you can't really experience it yourself. But think about some of the best games that people consider are out there. What's the best? What's the best horror game that people say is a must-play? You have to play it. It's the best game. Is is it a Resident Evil? Is is it a Dead Space? It's amnesia. A first person game. A first person game. Also games like PT. Perfect example of trying to show that you can take Silent Hill and make it a first person game and make it way more immersive. And if you look at other games like first person shooters for example, what do some people consider to be the best Metroid game? the Prime series. To me there's nothing special about the Prime series. I enjoyed playing the Prime series, especially Metroid Prime 3, but a lot of people love the Metroid Prime series and I can understand so because it's a little bit more immersive than a lot of the other ones. But is it immersive because it's first person? Yeah, more likely. And then you also have to look at a lot of the first person shooters that are out and a lot of the, these games that keep coming out. When they go over to a first person perspective, it makes the game a lot more immersive. I mean, we've had a lot of Alien games that have come out. But one of the better ones that people seem to enjoy has been Alien Isolation. A game that last time I checked was, was first person, right? Yeah, so it seems as though first person perspective is the next big thing and it, it makes a ton of sense you know it cuts down on graphics because you don't have to come out with animation sprites and all this stuff for for a character you just have to have hands on the screen second it allows you to focus more on the environment around you it allows you to focus more on making the world detailed and drawing attention to things that the character should be drawn to, which then allows you to put more graphics into it because again you're putting less effort into the characters around. And it also adds immersion because then you can play a game like Half-Life or you can play a game like, um, I just had one in my head actually and I forgot it that quick, but you can play games like Half-Life and uh, Portal, considered to be one of the best games. And again, look at that. The fact that you've got companies like Bethesda that come out with Doom and Elder Scrolls and Fallout, and they are basically first person games. And Dishonored was first person. And everything that. Maybe not Team Fortress, I don't know, I don't really play that, but it, so far everything that I've seen that Valve has come out with, as far as uh, Half-Life and Portal, they're first-person games as well. So we have a ton of these first-person games that people say, are, hey, they're really good. And I think it's because of that immersion factor, the fact that you can pretend that that actually is you, even if you are playing as a woman in Portal, you can pretend that it's you. You know, and that's something that a lot of the third person games don't have. And so I wonder what games would benefit from going to first person. Legend of Zelda probably. Maybe. 
We already know that Metroid has. What Uncharted work? God of War, one of its better sequences was when it went to first person. There's a lot of ideas there that m maybe this stuff could work, and who knows? Maybe every single game going forward will be first person, and this will help usher in the virtual reality phase that we seem to be going towards with things like the Oculus Rift and Project Morpheus. First person could very well be the wave of the future. Or it could just be another phase, like so many things that have come and gone within the industry. But that's just my two cents on it, and I'm sorry if I was a little bit jumbled with my thoughts there, but make sure that you put your thoughts in the comments down below. What do you think about first-person perspective? Do you think it's the future? Or do you think it's just a phase? <clears throat> and as always, guys, I'm Lord Ryujin. Thanks for watching, as always, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.